Hi, till now in algorithm series, I already finished chapter 1, algorithm analysis, chapter 2, brute force technique, chapter 3, decrease and concur technique, chapter 4, divide and concur, chapter 5, transform and concur. So from this syllabus, I already finished searching, sorting, asymptotic worst case time and space complexity, then from algorithm design technique, divide and concur, graph traversal. Next, I will cover chapter 6 that is greedy method. In greedy method, I will also discuss minimum spanning tree. So chapter 6, greedy method, there I will cover knapsack problem, job assignment problem, optimal merge, Hopman coding, minimum spanning tree and digestion algorithm. So let's first know what is greedy method. The problems that require either maximum or minimum result is a optimization problem and optimization problem we can solve in three way greedy technique, dynamic programming and branch and bound. So in this chapter I will just focus greedy method. Some problem best we can solve in greedy method, some problem we can solve in dynamic programming, some in branch and bound. Generally, in optimization problem algorithm that goes sequence of step with set of choice at each step. A greedy algorithm always make the choice that look best at that moment. Means you can say it is locally optimized and we hope that it will be globally best solution. But sometimes it fail means whatever is locally good, it may not be globally best. And the choice must be feasible means it has to satisfy the problems constraint then it should be locally optimal means it has to be the best local choice among all feasible choice available on that step next it should be irrecoverable means we cannot go back once made it cannot be changed on subsequent step of the algorithm once decision made means it is final and will go through that decision we cannot go back Let's take a real life example. I'm staying in Naperville. Suppose I want to go to Chicago. Then I can go in different way. Like I can go through bus. I can go through train. I can drive myself or I can book a cab. Suppose in bus I will go. It will take around two hours. In train it will be one hour. If I will drive it will be one hour. In cab it will be one hour. Suppose there is just one hour time then bus is not feasible if time constraint is one hour then bus is not feasible next is price constraint in train hardly it will take ten dollar if i will drive around twenty dollar and if i'll book cab it will be around two hundred dollar so according to price cab is not feasible then if i will drive myself then there are less parking space in chicago so i cannot park the car so this is also not feasible. So one best option is train. I can go by train. According to price, it is feasible. According to time, it's feasible. And it is the locally optimal solution. So it is the best solution among these. And once I'll go by train, I cannot come back and I cannot drive myself. So it's also irrecoverable. So whatever the solution available from that, we need to check whether it is feasible or not whether it is the best solution or whether it is irrecoverable or not. So we need to make choice based on these three. It should be feasible, it should be locally optimal and it should be irrecoverable. Next, greedy algorithm, one array is given having n elements for i value 1 to n, then x equals to select i. Then we'll check whether it is feasible or not. If feasible x, then we will add x to solution and we will return the solution. So this is all about greedy algorithm. So how many elements are present in the array? We will check one by one element whether it is feasible or not. If it is feasible, we will add to solution. If it is not feasible, we will skip and we will move to next element. In case of greedy algorithm, time complexity will be greater than or equals to order of n. Like here for i 1 to n, it will be order of n and according to the condition, what's the condition for feasible, it may be greater than or equals to order of n. In Hindi, greedy means lalaj. If we are greedy about something, on based on that, we will make the decision. 
it may be time it may be money it may be anything so greedy algorithm based on some constraint like based on that constraint will check whether it is feasible or not in next lecture i will discuss knapsack problem if this lecture is helpful for you please like subscribe and share thank you